This is Jordan Tarot with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Lauren London slams rumors going around that she is pregnant. There is no truth to that. I thought it was spooky when I saw it last night. I said, hmm, that doesn't even make sense. And Jay-Z and Nipsey have a song coming out on Friday. What a coincidence. You know, it's there is no such thing always as a coincidence. It's very rare when a coincidence happens. Okay, do you think that I, some somebody behind the marketing for that movie or soundtrack, I don't know who, but somebody involved in that leaked that to get a buzz around it because it all goes into the algorithm. Once something's talking about this, it helps this. It's just that's just how it works. So it gets people talking. So now Laura Londo responds to it, woke up to some straight BS, let people heal. Uh, please stop. I'm not pregnant. And then uh, Nipsey's bodyguard says people were miserable. Uh, what sense of attention you got? Feel like it hustle and hove. 212-21. Fake news. You people were miserable. Then he hustle and hove. 212-21. I'm not saying he's behind it. I'm just saying it's like, oh, so we're doing the marketing it's marketing that's what's happening it's that that's all it is fake rumors for marketing that's what's happening i'm not saying that lauren's behind it or nipsey's bodyguard but somebody's behind the fake marketing scheme here for this track that's featured on a soundtrack that has nas on it and a bunch of other people um pushaisty Impressive, 60K. Looking at 60K the first week. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with a lot of attention being brought to the song Back of Blood with Little Dirk on it. Little Dirk is popping out here right now. He's like, you know, he's like the guy right now, you know, that people go to for the feature and everything. And if he continues on that path, he's going to arrive, I would say. You know, after 10 years of being in the game, he'll finally arrive and, you know, he'll get to reap his rewards. It's funny, he never had to go to court over that thing that happened in Atlanta. Like, it's just gone. How did that just disappear like that? I'm not saying I wish him to do that, but it just it just disappeared. <laughs> lucky. Yo, some people are just lucky. I would never get to be that lucky. It would be over for me. <laughs> um, little Uzi. He says that OG Hove said I'm like Prince. I'm like Prince now? Well... He does. He if if he would be raps, Prince the way he's just different in everything he does and unique, mysterious. Yeah, he, he, he and risk taking, musically, no, but the way he is as a person, his his uh, personality as his, his public persona, I would say, because I don't know him. Public persona, yeah. Prince vibes, sure. But musically, no. But, hey, that's what, you know, I think that's what Hove would have meant if he actually said that. That's what Little Uzi Vert says he said. <laughs> Anyways, that's all that's going on for right now. I'll catch you guys up on the next video. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I appreciate you for watching, and I will check you on the next one.